All right, I got my kayak out and I'm doing some kayak fishing for carp. I can't fit a large net, a landing mat, or the rod pod on this kayak, but I can use my method leads. And I've just got a mix of breadcrumbs, sweet corn, honey. I've added jello, like what Luke from Catfish and Carp uses, and someone commented on one of my videos saying to use cream style corn. So I've thrown some of that in there too, making a pack bait for the method lead. So I'm going to get these out in the water and hopefully catch a big carp. It would be nice to catch a trophy sized carp so I can advance on the Tennessee Angler Recognition Program. Got a hair rig going on here. I'm just going to smash a little bit on top of the hair rig. Just to hold it in place. And then a big gob over the whole thing. And then just toss it out there and hopefully catch a big carp. I'm going to leave the bait runner active. I haven't upgraded my tracks and these are just plastic tracks. If a big cat or a big carp grabs the line, it might rip the rod holder right out of the track. That's work in progress. I was told this area has a bunch of carp in it. So I'm going to see if that's true. If there are carp, this should be perfect for them. I got a lot of line twists going on. All right, it's a waiting game now. I got my holds type gripper on this pole. I also have an anchor in the water, trying to hold myself in place. A little bit of wind going on. I just hope it doesn't push my rod too hard against that pole. Don't need my new rods to get broken. This is kind of funny. That's Milton Hill Bill right there. He's actually the one that told me there were carp around here. I just got here. Nothing yet. Carp bait. You told me there was carp around here. In that cove? Ah, he was saying they were around those green buoys down there. Which that is a shallow area, that's why there's buoys there. I would think they would be traveling along this bank here because there's culverts right around the corner that they like to hang out at too. I've seen people catch them there. If I don't get bites here in about 30 minutes, I'm going to try moving around. Big old pleasure boat. He's going slow, so I'm going to get hit by some big waves here. That's a really bad spot for my rod. I think I'm going to pick up and try moving here. This stuff doesn't last long in the water anyway. 
I'm going to try where they said they saw carp earlier. As you can see, the pole was a little bit too big for the brush gripper, so I just clamped it on its own line. Probably going to need this in a little bit. And the anchor, I just wrapped it around a little eye I have on the side of the kayak. I think the wind is blowing me off a little bit. Hoping I can control this a little bit with the anchor. I think this is going to be as good as it gets. I'm going to cast the rods behind me. Going one shallow and one deep. And now we wait again. Hope the carp they saw are still here. I think I just got a little nibble and now I got a boat about to pass me up. Missed it. Whoa. It broke the line. Well, there goes an expensive uh, method lead. It looks like it broke on a rock or something. Well then, that was the first good run of the day too. I didn't bring my carp gear with me. Shame on me. I actually don't own any small J hooks either. Circle hooks and carp don't work out too well together. But I'm going to give it a try. Because that's all I have right now. I don't have any treble hooks with me either. Although I know a lot of you don't like me using treble hooks for carp. I'm going to put a one ounce no roll sinker on here. I think this is called the Carolina rig. A sliding sinker, swivel, and a hook. Circle hook. But I'm going to treat this like a method lead and see if I can get this to work. I'm going to hook some corn on here. Just going to make a giant ball. With the corn on the hook, they should take that hook in. Should eat it. I'll give this a try. Only had this thing like 10 foot behind me. See if we can get another one. This is what it looks like behind me. Judging from that pipe in the water and how this rock pile comes out, there's probably more pipes and other debris in the water here. That's probably what happened. That carp went out, wrapped my line around something and just cut it off. Might be a piece of sheet metal or something in there. Since I lost my method lead, I'm going to publish this video, even though it may end up being a skunked video. I've been skunked so many times in this kayak. Hopefully we'll get another bite before the sun goes down. 
Just got to hit on the giant dough ball. Maybe they'll come back. Whoa. There's definitely something down there. <laughs> they cut my line again. There's got to be a big piece of sheet metal or something down there. That's not good. Well, I just lost a circle hook and a no roll sinker. I think I'm going to move a little bit. I'm going to rig this up first. It's always nice to find a good spot and then have your line just break over and over and over again. I keep forgetting about my pre-made stuff and my rig wraps. Let's see if I got anything small in here. I want, I want really small. There we go. There's really small. I love these rig wraps. Of course, I keep forgetting that I have them and not use them. Pre-snelled hooks. And these were straw snelled, not the easy snell. Hopefully I can move to a spot that's not going to get me broke off every time. And it's kind of funny that this rod on my left, it hasn't even been touched at all. I'm going to try on this pipe. Should be able to grip it. There we go. See where the wind blows me and then I'll drop the anchor too. And I'm going to throw in that direction. Maybe if I'm on this side of whatever was cutting me off, I will get the fish without breaking my line. And I am going to be losing light fast here. Now maybe I'll get something this time and not break my line. It does feel better out here now the sun's down. Something nibbling at the right one. There's a boat ramp upstream. That's why there's so many boats here. I'm going to get hit in the side with big waves. Got it. Fish on. On the circle hook. He's got some weight to him. This might be a carp. Oh no, it's a catfish. Of course it's a catfish. <laughs> circle hooks work on catfish. <laughs> Good old channel cat. At least I'm not skunked. As long as I can get him in the boat. <laughs> this may be the guy that's been breaking my line on whatever riprap's in the water. Well, it's not a carp, but I'll take a catfish. Any day. It's kind of a typical channel catfish. Has that rounded anal fin. Forked tail. Alright. The fish that get the skunk out of the boat. These guys love eating carp bait. 
let this guy go and hopefully he'll get bigger. I still need a trophy sized channel catfish. Whoa! And he's gone. Well, I'm happy to finally get a fish in without it breaking the line. Lost that expensive method lead and caught a catfish. There is stuff down there, look at that. I probably came close to losing this guy because this is pretty bad right here. I'm gonna have to cut this line and redo it. And I'm gonna do that later. I think I'm gonna go ahead and reel in this other line and call it a day. I still have some carp bait left, so I'm gonna try that another day. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. The next carp video or carp failure video will hopefully be next week or the week after. Thanks for watching again. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Time to paddle home.